hey guys what's up so this is the third program of the pattern and this pattern is going to be a bit tricky than the previous two patterns right so before jumping into that uh, the test tells about this tells brief about me i am from a kental background and i'm from bihar muzaffarpur i have my facebook page and youtube channel so you guys can subscribe my channel and like my uh, facebook page and the github locations where you can get all the source code right and for any query you can mail me to this email address or you can ask me on my facebook page i will try to uh, respond to you as soon as possible okay right now uh, we need to understand a logic so we need to print this kind of pattern how do we do that right we need to have this kind of pattern how do we do that so till here what i see is it's an increasing order 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 7 so till here if you look at we are printing 1 and then we are printing 1 2 then 1 2 3 so let's say i is equal to 1 it starts from i 1 when i 2 we are printing 1 2 when i 3 we are printing 1 2 3 when i 4 we are printing 1 2 3 4 when i 5 we are printing 1 2 3 4 5 when i 6 we are printing till 6 when i 7 till 7 then the moment we reach till 7 again we are printing till 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 right so let me start with the logic how we should proceed first write a loop one loop first first start int i is equal to 1 why 1 because we are starting from 1 i less than is equal to 7 why less than is equal to 7 because we want this loop to run for seven times since we are starting from one we have to write less than is equal to if we write only less than this loop will not run for seven times it will run for only six times because i is starting from one right now i plus plus if i write only this loop you know what will happen if i try to print i it will print only 1 2 3 4 5 6 the pattern will not come so we need to have one more loop and this outer for loop will guide the inner for loop how many times the particular for loop should execute based on i value based on i value when i2 internal for loop for loop should run two times when i3 it should run three times when i4 it should run four times so let me write one more logic here then let's say when i say here int j is equal to again 1 j less than is equal to i because i want this loop should be directed by the external for loop because when i1 this should run only one time when i2 this should run two times here j plus plus right now what we can do we can print here so when we print j so what will happen when i1 internal loop will run only one time when i2 since it is j less than is equal to 2 internal will run two times when i3 internal will run run for three times when i7 internal will run for seven times because j1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because 7 less than is equal to is equal to will work out now we should not write we should not write you know ln when we write ln what will happen after every print we will get a new line but here our expectation is after first when i once we want to be printed and then new line when i2 we want 1 2 should be printed and then new line when i3 we want 1 2 3 should be printed and then new line right that is the reason we should not write new line but after this for loop we need to have a new line because when i is equal to 2 when we print 1 2 after that for 1 2 3 we need to have a new line so come out of this for loop here and write one just new line that's it now run this program let's see what is the output so output is coming till 7 is coming but we don't have a space it is simple to add the space just write plus and keep a space now half program is done we got the output till 7 we came now we want 6 to end how do i do that right write one more for loop in this for loop the logic will be the logic will be different here i should start i should be 
here the i should be 6 right i should be 6 here and if i greater than 1 if i greater than 1 and then i minus minus because now we have to go ulta we have to go ulta ulta in the sense of now six times we are printing then we are printing five times then four times then three times then two times then one time we are going ulta so first six times when i is equal to six it should print one two three four five six when i five this should print one two three four five when i four this should be one two three four so we should go ulta so now i should start from six i greater than is equal to one if the i is bigger than one continue and i minus minus right now same loop will work here copy this paste it here right copy this and paste it here now same loop will work when i is equal to six first time this loop will run six times and it will print one two three four five six now i minus minus i becomes five this will run five times when i becomes 4 this will run 4 times and will print 1 2 3 4 right now don't give a space here your output should be like this when i 3 this internal should run for 3 times right so basically for this for this guys you know what will happen this loop will start from here this guy will run for 6 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 because i 6 right now let's say right click run a java application you'll get this output look at this output but there is one problem here right it, after one two we are not getting one because i did i less than i if i greater than one but you do i greater than is equal to one till one okay till one even though the data is one i want if the i is one after minus minus if i becomes one i want this loop to be run one time now if you run this you will get your logic. See here, this output is coming. Very simple. What I did, I broken this program into two parts. One is this part, one is second part. This is your first part. And this is your second part. How I came to my second part? Because after 7, it will print only 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So, just start from reverse. I become 6. I less than equal to 1. If till 1, and then do I minus minus. So, first time it will run 6 times. Then I becomes 5. 5 times, then 4 times, then 3 times, then 2 times, and this is your first for loop, and this is your second for loop, and your output will come, guys. Right? Hope, hope you guys understood this program, and hope if somebody will give you a star also, instead of printing J, right? If you just put here a star, and if you just put here a star, your output will come as it is. No problem, your output will come as it is right so you guys will not face any issue so either they will give you a star or if they will give you anything else your output remains same your output will not change even though it is a star see you will get output like this so if with the star without the star in both the cases output remains same if it is a star you will get output like this same if it is a dollar you will get output in the dollar so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you guys uh, like this video and hope you guys able to write uh, code so only my suggestion is do practice right and if you like this video hit like button and subscribe me youtube channel thank you thank you guys once again